think there's a lot of questions right now in AI about whether we're in this sort of gold rush or whether we're mm -hmm. in some kind of sugar rush. I think a lot of people even looked at the investment that NVIDIA made uh, in open AI, both on, as a, a good investment on one end and on another, people said, well, maybe this is a little bit like vendor financing in the, in the late 90s, uh, where yeah. a lot of these companies ultimately don't have the cash to actually buy all the chips and do all the things that they've committed to do. What do you think? Well, it's all about whether you can truly deliver value. Um, if something like Comet can help you get your work done, like you said, you're trying to use it for emails. If instead of hiring one more person on your team, you could just use Comet to supplement all the work that you're doing. Uh, and that's worth like $10,000 a year. Like that, and, and if you scale it with a number of people who are like you, uh, that's clearly adding value to the GDP. It's letting you do more work by, like, like the same unit of time. And um, I think the human value, conservatively estimated human digital uh, knowledge work value uh, contributions to the GDP is around $25 trillion. Uh, so we just need to do like at least 20% more productivity uh, right. for that. Right. And that would automatically take care of all the capex that NVIDIA wants OpenAI to spend, which is $4 trillion for 10 gigawatts, right? So we just need to do $5 trillion, like bare minimum, like table stakes. And I think we can do that.